The Venom Piranha. The Piranha was released in 1985. This was a part of Series 1 of Kenner's very popular toy line, Mask. The Piranha was a motorcycle that could convert to an attack submarine. Kenner's packaging in 1985 really stood out on the toy shelves. The Venom action figure, Sly Rax, was included with the vehicle and came with the stiletto mask. The original release was a much smaller mask and they later upgraded to a larger version with an extended chest plate due to a possible choking hazard. Sly Rax of Venom, known as Wrecker to his friends as well as his enemies. He's a cunning and totally uncontrollable weapons expert an espionage genius. The stiletto mask pretends to shoot harpoons. Six total parts were included with the Piranha. You could also remove the motorcycle's windshield for a more traditional motorcycle look. The sidecar converted into the attack submarine. The action figure could then lay inside of the submarine and close the canopy for underwater excursions. By pressing the orange tab located on the back of the sidecar, you can then launch the submarine into attack mode. The submarine featured two retractable fins and two forward firing cannons. The two spring-loaded cannons were also retractable. Both components popped out once the submarine was launched from the sidecar. The action figure came sealed in a bag inside the Piranha's package. You could also purchase the Slyrax figure in a two-pack if you didn't want to purchase the vehicle or needed a replacement figure or mask. The two-pack also included Cliff Dagger with Torch Mask. There were also several other action figure packs available as shown on the back of the card. They were manufactured in Hong Kong and made available to toy stores in 1985. The Piranha was very popular in 1985 due to its low price point as it was one of the smaller sets available at the time. All values shown are estimated by Retro Toy Quest. These values may vary depending on the condition, additional paperwork, and original packaging. We hope you enjoyed this segment and we'll see you next time on Retro Toy Quest.